Hi, it's Hazy, and welcome to Hazy Crazy Arts. Here is what I'm doing today, okay? So it's just layered tags. So it's um, thought processes, okay? So I'm use, what I'm doing is using by suggestion, by what people would like me to like to see the most. So if you've got a suggestion of what you like to see the most, please let me know. But somebody did say they like it when I do my artwork and then use it in a project, which is what I'm doing here. And I'm going to, I've got to make five of these, but I'm making the one on video and I'm finishing off the other one. Okay. And so that's what I'm doing today. I've got to do another five and I'll tell you what I'm going to do for the other five at the end. <laughs> for the other three, sorry, at the end. Okay, and I'm also going to add on Kofi this, if I haven't got it, and some of these. I've got quite a lot of those papers you use every day as well. So if you haven't got anything like that, or you can't, you know, you, have, you don't want to paint, you can... <laughs> If you want to have a look at my stuff close up, that will help doing that. And also, I think I might have got that one. I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look. Because I do these things and I think, oh, have I got that on there or not? <laughs> okay. I'm also going to uh, some more of those words as well. But, but in the future, okay. Because uh, I love those. It's such a bright words. And they're done by... I did them with um, basically a felt tip. But I might use my uh, acrylic markers for those we'll do those again and then i'm going to do a whole sheet so you so i'm going to put them on kofi as well because i was requested a while ago to do words <laughs> and I, and i find uh, you know i find these i love these i adore them so i might do a whole sheet of those as well i'm going to include these the ones that i've done i love the way joy looks Move back to improve focus. Has it done it yet? That's it. That should be there. Okay. There you go. So I will show you what we're doing today. I'll give you all the measurements and everything of what I've done, where I've got things from that's extra as well. And so we'll see, won't we? Thank you very much. And let's go. Right then, so. So today I am making layered tags, okay, and they have to be bright. Um, no dull ones, okay, so they could be any size actually, but I've done these as, um, apparently, I've, I've got, the, <laughs> got the size off um, scrapbooking with me. She uh, did one seven and a half, one six, and I, I think I looked at it, I don't think she actually said, but it was it looked about four inches. So, and that is actually a different shape, but never mind. I'm going, still could use it. And I've got it an odd shape as well, so good job I've got that to cover down that side. Yeah, so, right then, let's have a look. So, if I've got some, I've got actually got, um, what I've got is an idea. Okay, there's my little woodland animals, because obviously I'm going to bring them out on Kofi very soon because we've got over 2,000 subscribers now okay and just see how many we get before the 7th of April what I was going to do is use these this that I did the other day that look how bright that is it's beautiful isn't it I love that I really I'm really proud of that because that looks a lot more clear and bright than the other ones I've done previously doesn't matter which way round because I did turn it round I've also got those I did a while ago. I've used the Joy one on the um, one I've just done because that was my favourite, the favourite design. And it looks like I'm going to have to do a whole sheet of those. They look gorgeous. I really do. And then put them on black paper so they have a background. But that looks so cute. Look at my bunny with the floppy ears. Oh, that's on my new sheet of bunnies on Kofi. Yeah, so what's I going to do? I don't know if it's going to work, but I was going to put <laughs> that. It's interesting to see if it does. That one on one, the um, thing. I, I love the butterflies on that one. And that one and that one. And see what they look like. It might look absolutely stupid, so I might use them all in separate things. So I'm going to quickly, hopefully, do that. 
told you the measurement. So it's seven and a half, seven and a quarter by I think three for that one. That one's six inches by two and three quarters, and that one's two and a half by four. So if you want to do the same as that, that's fine, but if you've got your own idea, obviously, go for it. Here I'm using the Teflon bone folder. Uh, you can use a card, a plastic card, or anything really, as long as it squeezes the glue out. Don't put too much glue on in the first place. These flowers are printed a bit smaller than the first ones. And these flowers are printed the smallest of them all. So here I'm using some gorgeous tea dyed paper. Okay, so it's one side really dark. I could use the smooth side, but I decided to use the darker side. I absolutely adore it. And the reason it's gone like that is because I left it a long time in the tea. Okay, so it's like tea from a teapot, really. And um, there we go. And then I put it all in. And then eventually, if I leave it in too long, it goes mouldy. I've probably told you that before. <laughs> Lol. Okay. So, do you know the reason we actually use the something like the Teflon fold, Teflon bone folder, or a card to instead of just doing that? What I've just done there, when you're doing something like this, you can use a card. And the reason is because then you don't get those bumps. It's actually very smooth, and it actually fixes to the paper perfectly. Just getting rid of the glue there. And I'm going to cut it so you don't get the wrinkles at all, okay? And it looks really smooth, so it's a very good idea to do that. And I, currently I can't find my Teflon bone folder so I just use this box it works just as well <laughs> it's really good actually
Right, that way around, yeah, that way around, that way around, and then... Um, Okay, so when I'm working, <laughs> um, yeah, I use a bit of uh, baby powder on the desk, but obviously you've got to be very careful in case you need to glue on these. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is ink them up actually. Then I'm going to make the holes because, I'll tell you why I'm going to make the holes, it's because you'll need to know where your design goes and you don't have to make a hole through your design. Uh, ink, ink, ink. Uh, so this will do. I only want black, oh it is black. Well it's not black, it's dark brown. Yeah, I think they really do look nice, don't they, um, together? <laughs> it could do it, no. And then I can uh, see what else we need to put on there. What am I putting? I mean, on the other one, I put some butterflies. On the first one. These are the ones I made uh, whimsical. Oh, that goes quite well. That shows up well. That one probably won't so much because it's that colour. Uh, oh, I was thinking that would, but it's got that on it. Oh, another one the same colour. I was going to put the holes on, wasn't I? See, another green one that might not go. Oh, that's got gold on it. Try that one. That's too similar to that. Unless I put that down there and that up there. Hmm. Green again. Purple. Dark. Heart, why the heart in there? That's bright. Think about that, won't we? Right, let's do the whole. <laughs> right, so first of all, I'm going to do this one. Okay, I don't want it too far down because I need to use some bulb pins. Okay, so somewhere like perhaps that. And get a hole maker, and then you can, if you've got one, you can see through. All the better. Not oh dear, that's it. I'm gonna make it so it's so that little mark is at the bottom of there, so there's plenty of space. Okay, so that should be about right, hopefully. Right, second one. I mean, if you've got one of those little rulers that's got the naught in the middle, you're laughing. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Because you can obviously use those. So what I'm doing is using sides to see how far I need to go it. But I'm making the top the same. Okay, and this one. <clears throat> that whole that little mark was direct in the, directly in the middle of that although on the first one I made it it was down there no there up there sorry so that we had a bit more space 
Okay, and this one I'm going to have here. Um, again, I'm going to make sure we're sort of parallel. There and there. Make sure it's parallel all the way down because sometimes you look at the top and think, yeah, that's right, but then all the way down it's not. Right, and then fill the hole so I know it's going to be here. And make sure there's nothing in there. I used the 3 16th on that. Okay, so now let's get a ball pin. I know, how does, should we get a ball pin now? Don't need a ball pin yet, do we? I've been using, I used a ball pin on the other one. Uh, what did it, yeah, so you can do, you don't have to decorate this one. This one would be, I think, perhaps fine as it is. We'll perhaps just decorate the top. Seriously. So I might put one of my little animals on that. Where did I put them? I've put them out ready. Oh, cute, aren't they? Yeah, I'm going to use one on each one, I think. Oh, that one fits best. Right, book page. What I did was cut a piece of the... Oh, no, it's not that one. It's not the actual one. Oh, yeah, that is the actual one, but this is the... What I cut. Side of a book page using that, because sometimes you need to cut it off, don't you? <laughs> so I thought I would use that... Um, then I think I might use it on this one. So I cutting down it anyway. Yeah. I think I might. I think I might. Right, so that. And then you can put I suppose you can put it that way if you want. I think this way. And I could put it a little bit further in. And then I've got some words. Where did I put them? If I use the joy one on there. I might use a different one. I love the way it was. Right, and always very useful to look <laughs> when you're filming to find out where you put something. I've found these now. Right, I thought I'd actually cut them out, but I haven't. Yeah, I need some more on this paper, don't I? They're really nice, these are. I've got another bunch somewhere, but I don't know where they are. So I just got these and I didn't uh, copy them. I was thinking about love for this because it goes with the fox. Or you could say fun. Oh, I do like that. It's, it's autumn though, isn't it? Autumn. Create love. Let's try love. So you've got to make sure that's why I've cut out the um, hole first. I don't know if you heard me, I was going to say very low to the animals. Right, there we go. Hello there. <laughs> right, um, the animals, no, not no, actually the cats because the dogs in here. Yeah. Right, I was just thinking, um, I don't like the idea of, I do like the idea of having it like that. Perhaps you could have it like that and like that. But no, I like the idea of the fox connecting to the lace. And love being over there. So I've got to move it down because of the hole. And that's what, I've, that's a good thing about doing the hole first. Right, so, I could ink up the, um, these couldn't I to define it I wonder if that's scorched timber actually that could be scorched timber on there because it looks like it's burnt a bit the thing about this it's making it dark at the edges and then a slightly lighter then I like that you can do that effect by putting two colours on 
a lighter one and a darker one. Yeah, but that's that's fine me. Yeah, I love this. I might do this to all of them and then they can all have that. So I've got to make five, believe it or not. Yeah, they got you to make five this time, yeah. Yeah, I love doing it's fun doing the swaps though. If you're in the UK, uh, please join the group. <laughs> Uh, love junk, love, love junk journal UK. Um, I got eight percent. Eight percent of my viewers were from the UK, so hopefully some of you are. Because uh, we're only we're only swapping within the UK, but obviously, um, where's the pin? You know what? I've got ten pins, so if I can't find that one, I can use another one. Hmm, not even forthcoming now, is it? Right, so it's this side, wasn't it? Oh no, I want to, do I want to do it? No, I'll just do the... I don't want to do that. No. Put a bit there. Okay, then we'll put, make sure it's not too far on. Perhaps look at the other side, see where we are. Yeah, that's that's the right side, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay. It looked hard because obviously I get probably get confusing. Right there we go. I mean, you can cut straight across, but you can actually cut round there. I don't know. Let's try that. If I can cut to that one, like that. And same. Oh, look, same with this one. That's perfect. I've got that, that, that sorry, that, <laughs> that idea. And you put the foxy down there, and then you put the love here. Okay, oh, we put the love down first, just in case it's not going to fit. So let's put that with this, if it works. Come on, dear. That's it, well done. And this should spread nicely around the label. Let's put that there. There we go. So we pull that on straight and make sure it, it doesn't matter if the fox touches that now, does it? Because you can still say it says, see it still <laughs> still see it says love. In fact, I won't mind that actually the fox touching the label slightly. Yeah. Then the fox is on top. I mean, you can put things underneath and everything. You put black paper, and mind you, the black paper around the fox is already there. Because I like to put them on top of um, black paper so you get that lovely cartoony or children's book page type um, <laughs> outline. So I think it makes it stand out, doesn't it, the black? See that? I mean, I've got, I've got that there. That's an 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 anonymously. I think on the actual on the actual thing. Perhaps a bit of orange there. Yeah. A bit of black. Now these are acrylics, so they will go over other colours. The Arctic's what do ones tend to. Very good. They're like uniposcas as well, they do. But you have to shape the uniposcas. <laughs> you have to go crazy. Right, so that's beautiful, isn't it? I might not do the other ones, actually, so watch. Or, um, I don't know. Oh. I've no need to put anything on them, have I? So we've got journaling spaces on the backs. Okay, so you can, when you twist them round, you can journaling or undo them because it's only a pin right so perhaps a green one for this one then i did a red one for the first one love it because they're different colors yay <laughs> okay so that's that one 
Okay, so now we've got two. I could actually cut round those, couldn't I? As I said, that's not so much. I did get the idea from um, scrapbooking with me. I just drew those. I've got some more I've got some new paper I've done I can show you right so you grab a piece of oh no that's the original I don't want the original right so you can just grab a piece of the just the paper I've done just oh, it's messing about with colour I loved it it's brilliant I'll have to show you that one it makes a lot of noise though so I'd have to really put these noise uh, the thingy down you're scraping with your uh, knife acrylic oh there oh i'll say there's the pin but it's not the the pin it's the pin i need to put in that's it in there dear right so what i did was let's get one of my black pens so anywhere in here you could even you can do it anywhere just um a round circle and this is a copy of the original I could show you I think I can show can I show you the original have I got it there's this one this is the original because I was trying out something <laughs> by uh, treasure books but that is the original. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's the original. Yeah, so it's like um, it's a massive A3 piece, and that's A4 now. That's cut down or torn down actually. And I was just putting loads of colour on. Oh, I was using three colours and white. Three colours and white. Yes, I was using the. Uh, I was using pink pink light blue and a lemony color because that make what that what's that's what makes um colors um the best okay you can say magenta cyan and uh lemon if you like um but i don't use red i wouldn't use red um to do it because they cut it uh, it adds a brownish effect brownish <laughs> Evening paint. Yeah, so I'd use a pinkish colour. I mean, I haven't got cyan and that in there, but, but that uh, makes some lovely bright colours. So that's what I've done. Okay, um, I can I can talk to the cows come home to make, about mixing colour, but <laughs> I've tried it before. But I've got a colour wheel and everything. Right then, so I've got that and I'm going to change the colour of that. Because you can, yes, you can if you like with these. Um, that will do a nice. And then you can put, I don't know if you want, dots everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so that's basically what I've come up with. Right, let's see if it would go on. I don't know if it would. Right, so I've done that one. I did a green middle for that one. You could put... Yeah, you could add them. I suppose you could add them, sort of like, because these are similar. As sort of like a 3D effect. Although it would be stuck down. Wouldn't it stuck down, really? And I think a couple of them like this, like that would have, would look great. I don't know whether to use the heart idea as well, because I do like that. I mean, it's a very 
you know can you see the heart it does not look like a heart so if you can't draw hearts don't worry <laughs> look at that and that looks great doesn't it on there <clears throat> so i might actually do that i might use it as a theme you know so what i'm going to do is add another but add a butterfly <laughs> I'm going to add another um, flower and then I'm going to add a heart. Now the heart's not going to be done out of, I don't know what it's done out of, look at that. It's got little dots on. I think it was one of those, let me see if I can see one. It's actually from here. So these are those ones where I've, ex the experiment I did with the, uh, but I've used coloured colours instead. I can't find this anywhere. I don't know where the... Uh, it's an embossing folder. I don't know where I've put it. But anyway, that's what I used for that. And I've also cut some more out here. Yeah, so it's an embossing folder. Sprayed. All I did was spray. It's not um, anything. It's oxide sprays. Wet the paper and put it on. And then, it, then you you uh, mop up your excess water and it will stay this is um some some sort of photo paper it's not um it's that thin stuff you can get it's called photo paper or brochure paper so and it's this is 130 gsm uh i can't remember i, I get it's even that even the thing confused me with the pounds because it seems to be different but anyway that's what i've done on that i have got the experiment uh, paper <clears throat> one as well which is done the same so but i've just done more i've just done the colored version because i wanted more color okay i've also done things like this as well this is a stencil okay just using a stencil sprayed with stuff um spray the paper with water and just put it on and then mop up your excess and it's the same sort of thing so, but I've, I've, it's just sort of messing about. It's not uh, trying to make paper. And that one's a better example, I think. Oh, and I've added some script stamp on that one as well for a background idea. Yeah, so that's the sort of thing I've done on that. Okay, so I'm just going to make a couple more things for this. I might use again, I might use a bit of this again for the a heart it looks great doesn't it it really does so you can make the papers you use every day with your experiments as well that's a paper i can use every day that's all that so if we, you can don't have to print them out you can just use them as they are as a, as this is that's that's not print that's just using it as it is it's, it's the original Let me do that. Well, the shape of that worked very well, but the colour, I don't know, I think it looked a bit pale for the, what it is, what it's supposed to be, so I decided on the pink. Yeah, that, see, that fits in very well with the <laughs> slightly different shaped heart there. Right, so, let's 
have a look. So I've got everything everywhere. Right? I could put some butterflies on the. That's what I did. I think put the. Yeah, I did. I put book page around the butterflies as well. So I could do that on the back page. I think because then it's like a theme, isn't it? I've got my heart, me too. I can do this on every one. <laughs> there you go. The design sorted. Just using different papers. That's all. Yeah, and they're all mine, right? So that's mine. That's mine. That's the ah. That is this sort of paper, but just a different colour. And obviously that's the one I did on video recently. I'll show you, I can show you that a big of it. Oh, it's actually been cut. It might have been what's it, this one. It might have even been the sorry, I'm getting all the everything's been stuck. <laughs> there we go. Right, so it's probably yeah, that bit that belonged on there. Yeah. Yeah, look there, it was. So I can use some of that. Yeah. I could also use things like this. I mean, that's not mine though, is it? So now I won't use that. Right, I'm going to, oh yeah, I thought you could use it, although it's not brightly coloured. I might use a bit of that. It has got some brights in it. It's got some yellows and some orangey colours. Yeah. Yeah, so what I'll do then is perhaps use me butterflies because it does look a bit boring, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'll use those two butterflies I had earlier if I can find them. They're probably did I put them back? No, I didn't not. They're not back, are they? So there's some <laughs> Did I put them back? Did I put them back? Never. Never will I put them back. Never put anything back, you know. <laughs> Oh, there they are. So what I'm going to do is mount them. That one's actually on um, watercolour paper. This one's on probably a copier paper or something thinner anyway. Or I don't know. And then um, I'm going to mount them on some book page type or book page paper. If I can find, I don't think I can find my little book I was using it. <laughs> Right, so I could use my own. Okay, so this is predictive text, as I've learnt to call it, because people don't understand what it is. So predictive text, um, because I didn't have too many with but uh, pay, but books with uh, just typing. I've got plenty with pictures in. Yeah, plenty of little picture books. <laughs> But not enough with typing. So I've got that. I can put that one on there as well. Okay. And that will go there. I'm going to have to make, I love doing these. They're so cute. I'm often doing them actually. Then I'm, and I find sheets of them. I thought, oh, <laughs> I haven't cut them out yet. Yeah. So, yeah, these are really easy to do. Whimsical butterflies. I might have got some, but I've probably modified them a lot since then. I've got these on. I will have got these on video. Um, whimsical butterflies inspired by uh, whimsical flowers and things like that. Okay. I mean, they're all whimsical flowers, aren't they? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, so it's not meant to look. It's meant to look like this. Yeah, so what I'll do then is just cut around a parallel sort of line, and I don't always draw the antenna on actually. Yeah, so these, well, don't they look, they're going to look brilliant on here now, aren't they? And I can move them out of the way and glue it on. Yeah, see they really stand out now with this, don't they? Yeah, I'm going to actually ink up the edges. I don't know why, just put some scorched timber on the edges. Yeah. 
yeah i think muting that white down a little bit it does help so yeah so what have i done i have um yeah not not i'm not necessarily putting antennae on I? okay it's antennae here yeah, there's a posh word isn't it antenna antennae right there we go so i've put those on there so i can put i'd rather put the sm the big one at the bottom and the little one at the small one at the top i don't know seems more balanced that way oh, i've just seen some shiny glue i do not like that I don't know whether I'd, whether putting oh no I'll put that on afterwards. I don't know whether putting baby pad on there will work. Or I could use some clear gesso that might help. Put that slightly over there, facing that way. It looks better if it's flying onto the page rather than or the item rather than off the page. Look at this big massive. You don't see all that, do you? It's just a big massive. It's even worse now. <laughs> get out! Get out! Right, uh, <laughs> go away. <laughs> right. Okay, so doing that. Slightly onto that big one there. It sort of brings the I don't know something to to the page. I've done it wrong. I've done it. Fa I'm facing that way, aren't I? Sort of the other way. Let's see if I can do it. It should be. What I wanted to do was this. Okay, so we're flying that way, then flying that way. Yeah, it needs a bit more glue now. Probably needs more baby powder on it. Yeah, because I've got glue everywhere. Don't like to receive or or send out projects. Do not like to send out projects. Well, I've got glue everywhere. I don't know if you can see it shining up. I can glint. I don't know if it, what is there. I can see that there. It was just shining up there. If it still is, I can see it. I don't know if you could see that. But anyway, it is shining up there, and I'm going to add a tiny bit of clear. But I think it's too wet for dry. I mean, for some um, baby powder to go on there. I'm going to put a little bit of this on. I don't know if I can put any on here. Very tiny bit, very little tiny bit like that. Then we'll bit in case it's too much. There is that. Can't even see it now. That's the trouble. You can't see it when you want to see it. So that should hopefully reduce reduce the shine. That I don't want. Okay, oh, there's a bit there as well. Oh no, get off. We don't want shine. We do not like glue shine. It looks, it does tend to look, um, you want to look professional. You have to look like it's, you know, to me, you don't want any bits of glue. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a knack, isn't there? There's a little knack. So if you're going to give it away, you don't want any glue shine if possible. I mean, you might not, they might not even notice or even bother, but I do notice. <laughs> Okay, um, I think that's why I'm looking for the glue here where I took it away, but I'll be able to, that's not glued down either. But I can't see any. Actually, now you could actually put powder on, couldn't you? <laughs> Says I doing it. Yeah, I'll put a little bit of that on it and a little bit. And that will come off if the excess will definitely come off it won't mute the colors right so we can then okay so that will not stick now yeah so i've got those okay so um this is the formula i have done you don't have to do the same formula but i think these match now because these are going to go to the same person and i've got to make three more um whether i'm going to show them at the end i don't know but well, at least one more because I might do what I might do is this one. Yeah, I could do one in that, couldn't I? A whole one in that, but all different colours. A whole one in this, perhaps using the other. I've got two of the two uh, boards like this, master boards, to 
the master boards like that so master board of things you make things from so that's the master board okay and then there's that so i might do the form that's flying outward a lot naughtily yeah but that looks okay though doesn't it yeah, i just told you not to do that what did i do yeah well, fly them inwards says i says i flying them outwards <laughs> yeah but obviously if it looks okay it's fine right so oh, yeah so i could do one with this i've got copies of that so i could print them out again and um that one might have to print some more look at me not having the light on it um might have to print some more of that i don't know whether that's okay for i'm going to see if that's okay for you if it isn't i'm going to put it on because everybody has been so kind and i'm going to put these on in the, on next week okay so by next week i'm going to put those on but everybody's been so nice and the they've been been subscribing and i've got loads of subscribers so if i haven't got those i'm going to put them on i think i might have but i'm not sure i did put i can put those on actually as well the celebration because they are papers you use oh no i think i did it did i did i use paper oh no i think I, no i didn't no no i didn't no I've put them on mine, so I'm going to do that, okay. So I'm going to put them all on there, so you could make these as well. We want to make bright colours ones, because I know people do like brights. I mean, a lot of my, the ones that are in the group, do often do vintage and things, so it'd be interesting to see what they do. So I'll just I'll leave it there for today, because I'm going to put these on Kofi and those, okay. And I'm going to continue and make some more with those more with those and i've got to come up with another one as well because i need another one and i'm doing all my papers and all my drawings on this one because that's what was requested when i suggested ideas um what do you like me to do people said they like me to use my, to draw my artwork and then use it okay and i think if people can't or lack confidence, say, lack confidence in doing They can see my stuff close up and have a go themselves if they get it from Kofi. So that's a good idea. And, um, yeah. So hopefully I will show you the rest of it. And I'm going to use, definitely use that one and try and use that one. I'd like to use that one, but it's, <laughs> I might recreate it. I do like it because it's got that little uh, fuzzy edge. And that one's okay. Yeah. So I hope you like my content today. And would like to show you, try and, try and include all the videos in the description where, I, where I've drawn. I mean, I've drawn a rabbit and the... Um, a couple of videos that i've put on <laughs> is it more than one i might i don't know i might have done it more than once i'm not drawn that on video because i don't find it easy the um i'll have to what i'll have to do is um do the same with the rabbit and keep keep practicing and practicing it's easy to draw draw these yeah so if you haven't had a go at that i would have a go at that that's fun if you've got any uh, acrylic markers, it's even better. But if you've got watercolours, that will do. They will be fine. Okay, you want to have a look at my whimsical butterflies, which are amazing. Um, they're on video as well. Okay. So, please give me a thumbs up. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much to any, all of you who've helped me to get subscribers from the beginning, right? Because you will count as well. The ones that's been subscribers from the beginning count and the ones who have um, subscribed to me recently more recently count too anybody who's been in the middle as well <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching see you again soon <laughs>